Okay. Shit. How's that. everybody? Corio here. Uh, in today's video, I kind of just wanted to show, you know, how I transfer into bed and out of bed. Uh, I know I have a video on the channel that's just me getting to bed, like my night routine. Um, however, I didn't show like how to get out, and you know, that's something I wasn't comfortable with doing on my own and independently back then so you know with with some practice and some time um, and a little bit of working out I think I, I, I'm a little more comfortable and can show you know how um, you know how to do so it's just something that takes practice and then comfortability you know uh, today is actually 12 years at the time of this recording uh, since my since my injury since I dove in shallow water and became a C5 C6 quadrant region so journey still continues, still learning things, even 12 years in. If you are new to the channel, I'm Corio. I'm a C5, C6 quad. Uh, I make videos of what it's like to live with paralysis and all things spinal cord injury. Okay, so the first step in transferring is um, I'm gonna line up my chair in the back and then I'm gonna take this cover off. Um, but also like my floors are pretty slippery. Uh, so I do have a weight that's kind of on the ground here and hopefully this angle will show it. If not, I, I, uh, it's just, just your basic old dumbbell that I put on the side of my chair. So when I get out, it doesn't, uh, like the chair doesn't slide. So that's kind of one uh, hack that uh, makes me feel a little more safer about transferring. And again, there's no rules to how, you know, to transfer. Uh, it's, it's, again, if you are newly injured, um, you know, what, what may work for me may not work for you. So, you know, feel free to adapt and try and, just kind of figure it out because that's basically what it is. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. Watch that. Shoes off. All right, when I do start to transfer, uh, I do kind of line up at an angle, just like this. So when I start the transfer, I'm not like directly was this parallel to the bed, kind of at an angle, just like any other transfer that I do. It just kind of makes it easier when you flip forward, at least for me to be at this angle. Um, and again, I'm gonna put this weight down here. So I don't know if you can see it. You can see my slippers, but there's a weight right here. All right. Kind of an important transfer, so first thing I do, leg down. One leg down, okay. Leg shaking a little bit. Stop it. I said stop it. Okay, see, that's it. Um, yeah, I come forward. Okay, there goes my leg. Freaking out. Happens all the time. It's very, uh, my spasm is very positional. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. There we go. Transfer, solid. So yeah, I just kind of unweight, you lean forward, and then you kind of shift your butt. Um, that's how I was taught. It's more of, uh, you know, just unweighting, and it feels scary because you don't have any core, uh, but that's just kind of the way that I was taught. Also, uh, you know, I'm only like, I am a C5, C6 quad, so I have maybe like one tricep I can use here, if that, even if I get your abby's hard. This one is my weaker side. Um, so yeah, I am a C5, C6 quad. I don't have very long arms. I am five, six and a half. Don't forget the, heart, the half part, very important. Um, so I'm not the biggest guy. I am pretty jealous of those people who do have longer arms and make transfers a lot easier. If you're built differently or built like me, it still can happen, okay? You still can transfer successfully. Um, and you kinda, I'm gonna give a little more shift here, just so I can get my butt further back. Um, this is, come on spasm, not now. And sometimes I spasm, uh, again, it's very positional. It's nothing that affects my daily life. 
Well, I don't take anything for spasms. So, thanks. Come on. Okay. And we're here. And I like to use the one foot up and move that way method. I don't know what it's called, but it works for me. So one foot up, move that way method. Yeah. Okay. And then we go. Same, same. Same, same with the other leg. Shake a little more. And just gotta get over a little bit. Alright, one, two, and three. Okay. And in the bed. Move these things out of the way. And you're like, Corey, why is the towel there? We'll get there in a second. That's for going back. Back inside. Okay. And then once you're here, uh, you can kind of just lie down. And that's what I'll do. I'm not gonna lie down with my hat on. And then if you wanna lie down, you just, okay, life is good. I do spasms, there goes my legs. What is it? Okay, shaking. Okay, now in order to get back out of the chair, there's kind of some things we got to do first. Um, the towel being one. But to get out, it's just the exact same. But, you know, if you're paralyzed, you're like, how do you get out of this position? Like bed mobility, how do you sit up? Uh, well, I have two cheap tools that I use. I have this, and I have this to use. So you come over here, okay, you cut and turn. I have a desk, you can use your chair, whatever. And then I kind of put my hand, uh, I don't know, like this, inside. And then uh, use that as a way to get up. It's just for stability. I have no idea what this is called. Uh, it's just something that uh, I kind of figured out along the way uh, in terms of bed mobility. So do what works for you again. And then to come forward, this is kind of the not scary part, but it just takes a little muscle here. I'm gonna shift my weight that way and use my hand as like a, a, a way to you know, just not fall over. So it may seem kind of scary at first, but it works. Just like that, okay? And now I'm sitting back up. Okay, to get back into the chair, um, let's go. Let's go into sport mode. Um, we need to. So I gotta take off my side guard just because uh, it makes it a little bit easier to transfer. I'm just kind of lift up, and uh, it should come out. Oh yeah, come on, work with me. So dumb. Sometimes. Alright, there you go. So I got it. Now I actually gotta get it. Alright, well, you gotta do what you gotta do, so this is what I'll do. It works. <laughs> Usually, it's a little easier to come off. Usually. Uh, what's the towel for? So, I found over the years that this clearance sometimes gives me trouble and it kind of catches on my chair. So what I found was if I use a towel or a t-shirt or a pillowcase or something just as like a, I don't know what, not a barrier, but like, I guess it's called just like a gap filler, gap filler maybe? I don't know, it makes life easier. So. I'm just gonna put it there. Okay. I want to fill that gap a little bit more. It's pretty good. It's pretty stuck. Okay. All right. Now it's just the same thing, but going backwards. So again, it took a little bit while. So if you're someone that doesn't have this kind of bed mobility, 
uh, or twin. Feet go off the side of the bed. And we'll just come on down. Come on down. And again, you can see why I have caregivers in the morning because, you know, although it's possible for me to get in and out, it'll probably, like, if I'm up in the morning, I'll probably be ready by lunchtime. So, you know, you gotta weigh your options. Independence, help, getting it done. It's just, it's just kind of a, you know, that's what works for me. All right, this is, uh, I put one foot, one foot goes on top. Of the chair, right? So one foot is on top. You cannot see, but one foot is there. Okay, and then come forward, come forward, come forward. All right, here we are. The fun part of all this, coming back, and you can see I kind of lick my palms, just so it's just a, like a grip thing. Same deal, you lean forward, unweight, move your butt. If it takes three times, good. If it takes two times, good. If you're really good and take one time, hey, that's awesome. For me, it takes, I don't know, you can't count. Alright, one time. And one more time. Alright. Sometimes my leg does freak out a little bit. But essentially, I'm here. One, two, three, let's go. Okay. Spasm there. But you can see how the towel really helped. At least it felt like that time it helped a lot. Just to help me slide over. I know some of you guys are like, Corey, just use a sliding board. You're probably right, but I think the pain in the ass to, to grab. So I just use towel. So yeah, towel is right here. It's the magic trick. And then just kind of fix yourself. It's all twisted, but I can fix that like so. That's it. We're in and out. Just know that this is not like an overnight thing. I did not learn this in one night. This is years and years, like almost 10 years. Of, and it's maybe, maybe a little bit less than that. Of just kind of figuring it out and you know trial and error just like anything with a spinal cord injury so if you are newly injured don't feel discouraged uh, i know you know the feet you don't want to be dependent on others you want to be able to put yourself to bed and get out of your own bed and you want that you know i wanted that as soon as i you know was hurt and just kind of wanted that back but things like this does do take time don't be discouraged keep practicing hopefully this has helped in, in just kind of giving you an idea of how you know i do it i know a lot of people do it very differently or have other ways maybe even better ways uh, but this is what works for me and you got to find out what works for you um, but uh, yeah if you have any you know comments or questions again reach out uh, I'll try my best to you know get back to me as soon as I can but again I'm, I'm, I'm also always looking for new video ideas and, and things that uh, maybe have helped to you know other people um, or just you know curiosity so I guess until the next one that's it. Cat shoots. Bye, YouTube. Aloha.